War should be fought holistically. And in fighting a war, the team that you are fighting together ought to be transparent. You don't need to shred anything in secrecy. This war, NCDC and government are the frontliners. The citizens are the ground soldiers. And if at any point the citizen did not cooperate with government, you can also see it. And so in doing that, NCDC will come out and announce 28 cases in FCT, 19 cases in FCT, 100 and something in this place. Ten and you don't know who are these people that are carriers of this disease. You don't even do the analysis to tell us the area where you are getting these cases from. You only say, like, like the one I saw yesterday, 12 in SCT. The 12, is it in Gariki? Is it in Durumi? Is it in Gishiri? Is it in Metama? Where are these people? Because we all have relations, friends in this FCT. Even if they are visitors, visitors knows themselves. So there is no point hiding who has this. There is no issue of stigmatization. This is a war. And so you don't need to hide anything. How did the governor of Bauchi got to get that he has uh, coronavirus? It was when it was announced that the son of Atiku is tested positive. And the man cried out and said, come and test me because I had contact with him. Now you are recording cases and hiding the identity of the people. And then you are telling us you are doing contact tracing for months and years. You will have saved yourself the energy of moving around to do contact tracing. Because if, for instance, my friend is announced and I'm aware he has it, his identity is revealed, I will cry all out to the heaven and say, I need help. And I will first isolate myself. I will take all precautionary means. I can even go through any other means to protect and even, I even take some measures that I can, I can help myself. And so, Shridin and just coming with, remember recently, the same governor of Bauchi came out and said the last time he checked, they had four active cases, including himself. Now that he's out, they are left with three cases. But NCDC were announcing eight cases in Bauchi. And the governor said, he can't just place and figure out where they are getting the food. So by implication, if you are not revealing and announcing the cases with the identity of the individual, then it amounts you are just announcing figures. And this thing should not be, just as I said, should not be sick. Because the danger, the danger about COVID-19 is glaring. And it's, it's, it's moving like a wildfire consuming people. Recently, the son of that communication was tested positive, and because the father had, and everybody in AIT that this guy is tested positive, they all turn in themselves. You go to our community, local community, you have gone to Gishiri, you have gone to Mabushi, you have gone to Gariki, and places you have tested people. Who are the people you have found positive? We are not going to kill them, they are not our enemies. Tell us, let's know, then people will turn in themselves. Tomorrow you wake up and say three dead, four dead, five dead. Who are the people that are dying? Are they coming from heaven? Are the dead body flying to the thin air? So Nigerians and especially we have the responsibility at all point as it concerns people to ask questions. NCDC should be more transparent. I watched over the news just recently where the commissioner, is it on Crossfire State, commissioner of health, came out to say NCDC are sending text messages to people. I watched it on AIT to say there is a case and then they will be getting money. Is it what is going on? Do you want us to believe that is exactly what is going on as Nigerians? There are hunky-panky, hunky-panky. There are some sharp practices going on concerning the fight of COVID-19. At this point, we, as a citizen of this country, are saying, henceforth, don't fight this war like a gorilla battle. Let's come all out. If you want the citizen to support government and NCDC in the fight, then you should be more transparent to the citizens. If you have any case, let the community leader, even if you are not going on air to announce, let the community leader be aware that so, so, so person, you as media men, I ask you, 200 and something cases in FCT, that is what is recorded. If I ask you to give me the breakdown 
of where these cases are coming from. Is it Metama? Is it Mabushi? Is it Karu? Is it, do you have the data? Nobody seems to have any information. And so they must come all clean in fight against COVID-19. And we will no longer take it when the fight is secret because we will think they are just using us to just lock us down without doing the needful and maybe these cases are not even existing. So the best way to do it is to be transparent and let it be in the public glare. We have seen other nations where even where they are treating people, you see people lying down, you are seeing their visuals, you are seeing their pictures, but our own is just figures and the news. I think uh, the latest I saw was Senator Dino Melai, where he sued um, the speaker uh, concerning the bill. Because I think the meat of the bill is that portion of compulsory vaccination. And I think at any point, at any point, there is anything that has to do with anti-people, that should be dead and buried immediately. People have been carrying, there, is, there have been tests going around. People have, been, people, have been, people have been tested daily on infectious disease, be it HIV, be it whatever. So I don't think at this level there should be anything compelling people, compulsion, you know, by compulsion to like want to be tested by force. That is, in fact, you can decide to die, <laughs> you know. So it's a right. The limit to human rights is just endless. Uh, in as much as there are laws and all that. But then at this point, I don't think there should be compulsion. I can decide to take vaccine against coronavirus. I can decide not to take. But the manner at which they are pushing it, that is what is giving uh, the black picture. It's painting the black picture concerning it. So all Nigerians are saying, drop it. You could have whatever, whatever form of law you want to bring to help in the fight of COVID-19. But pushing people to the war, aggravating Nigeria, to agitate their mind, to make them think the other way around, at this point is needless and is not important to anybody. So for somebody like Dino Milae and other persons to come up, I saw a Kenga, I think recently, where he says some people gave money to some group of persons to push this bill against the people of the country. This should not be in any way be obtainable. It can't, there is no country that will force a citizen to a, 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 a thing. The House of Rep members are representing people. And the people that you are representing are saying no to whatever I want to bring. So if you are representing them and anything you are saying is concerning them, and these people are saying no, then why go in ahead? Because you are not representing yourself. You are representing people. So I think at this point, that should be dropped. Or they should have other measures. Uh, they will bring up to see how to and to the ncdc well they are doing a great job but i feel uh there are more stories to be tell i in particular as a nigeria to some point i'm not comfortable with the way and manner uh some informations are treated in secrecy i recall recently when mr president uh, issued out uh, uh, a broadcast and he said the responsibility of the fight against COVID-19 lies solely in the hands of Nigerians. That is to say, all hands must be on deck in the fight against COVID-19. And by that, it means there is a war here. And it's been declared against humanity and COVID-19. COVID-19 is the enemy of the other side. And we, humanity, are, the, are, are, are in this other divide. What we're saying is the NCDC, we have lost confidence in the figures they are giving us. We have lost confidence in their, in, their, in their report. The NCDC, what we are saying is that come out clean. Tell us the names of Mr. ABC, who stays in Durumi. You say there is a case in Garki. Up to this moment, we have not been able to get one person in Garki that I report to us or one of our family. Because I am from FCT. And that if you are taking anybody within the indigenous communities, we should be aware. What we are asking is that, where are those people? The figures you are giving Nigerians, where did you get them from? Are you just making up figures? We saw, we saw when Kogi governor was saying that you cannot use, you cannot use Kojai to, to make up your figures. You, 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 you went to Garki, 
the testing kits finished. The people were waiting on the queue. You couldn't test them. We went to Durumi. The same thing happened. Where are you getting these figures from, for God's sake? The NCDC should come out clean and tell us where they are getting their figures because we no longer have confidence in them. We are thinking that some people are corona billionaires. Some people are making money from what is going on. And Nigerians are, 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 are suffering. Nigerians are being locked down. And then we're, we have been panicked all around. And all the NCDC should come out and tell us where they are generating their figures from that is not even corresponding because their figures are not corresponding. They will tell you three died today, tomorrow uh, 200 were made. Now, if you count, what is the vaccines that you are applying to the people? Why are they not being cured the same, they are, the same way they are being infected? The question is, why are the people not being cured the same way they are being infected? That's the question. It's a simple thing. You're applying vaccine to human beings. And they, 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 they're not getting the same result back. But they are get, they, they, they lev, the, level of, the level of infection is increasing every day by day. But the level of people being released is not commensurating with that level of that, that number. What, what, what does that mean? We, we want them to come up plain because enough is enough. If after Corona, we discover that there was some kind of funny and... and dubious kind of dealings we will come after some people because we cannot be locked down and then at the end of the day somebody will come and be telling us he make billions from from what is happening to us our parents are under under hardship where we're, we're going under serious hardship and whatever that is happening to us we believe that it is a pandemic no now if it is a pandemic let us be factual let us be true let, let, let us know the real thing that's happening should nobody should hide under corona to make money or say he wants we want to he wants we want to do anything funny we will not take it lightly after this period